Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. No worries. Hey, I'm really sorry for being late to our meeting. Traffic was unexpectedly heavy. No worries. These things happen. Glad you made it safely. Thanks for understanding. Let's dive into the agenda. Before we start, I wanted to ask if you've had a chance to review the report I sent yesterday. I haven't had the chance yet, but I'll definitely go through it after our meeting. No rush, take your time. It's just some additional information for our discussion. I appreciate your flexibility. I promise I'll have it reviewed before our next meeting. That's all I ask. Now, about the upcoming project timeline. Speaking of the timeline, I need to take a personal day next week for a family event. No worries, family comes first. Just make sure to inform the team and plan accordingly. Will do. I've already coordinated with my colleagues to cover my responsibilities. Perfect. And remember, if you need any assistance or updates while you're away, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Let's finish discussing the project, plan, and wrap up. Agreed. We're making great progress. Thanks for your contributions. No worries. It's a team effort. Looking forward to our next steps. Dinner time. Hey, dinner's ready. Are you hungry? Yeah, I am. What did you make? I made some chicken and rice with a side salad. I hope you like it. Sounds great. Thanks for making dinner tonight. No problem. Let's sit down and eat. They sit down and start eating. This is really good. Did you use a recipe? Yeah, I found it online. It was pretty easy to make. Well, you did a great job. This chicken is really tender and flavorful. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. How was your day today? It was pretty busy, but good overall. How about yours? It was all right. Nothing too exciting happened. Just did some work and ran some errands. Yeah, I know how that goes. Do you have any plans for the rest of the week? Not really, just trying to get some work done and maybe catch up on some shows. How about you? Same here, just trying to stay productive and maybe get some exercise in. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's finish up dinner and maybe watch something together later. Sounds good to me. Thanks again for dinner. Wake up call service. I can't seem to wake up on time no matter what I do. Have you considered using a wake up call service? It might help you get out of bed more easily. A wake-up call service? How does that work? It's straightforward. You provide the service with the time you want to wake up, and they'll call you at that exact moment to ensure you don't oversleep. That sounds interesting, but can't I just set an alarm on my phone? Of course, you can. But sometimes we get so used to our alarms that we hit the snooze button unconsciously. 
A wake-up call from a real person can be more effective in getting you up and moving. I see your point. Where do I find such a service? There are several apps and websites that offer the service. I can recommend one that I've used before. It's reliable and has a friendly team of wake-up callers. That would be great. I need all the help I can get to become a morning person. Please share the details with me. Sure thing. I'll send you the link right now. I hope this helps you start your day on a more energized note. Thanks a bunch. I'll give it a try starting tomorrow morning. Here's to no more oversleeping. Evening turn down service. It's almost time for the evening turn down service. Let's make sure everything is ready for our guest return. Absolutely. First, we should dim the lights to create a cozy atmosphere. Agreed. And we need to ensure the beds are neatly prepared with the sheets turned down. I'll take care of that while you place the complimentary chocolates on the pillows. Perfect. Also, let's arrange the extra blankets at the foot of the bed for added comfort. And don't forget to refill the water carafes on the nightstands. Right. After that, we can set up the aromatherapy diffusers with a relaxing scent. Excellent idea. It will help our guests unwind after a long day. Oh, and we should leave a weather forecast for tomorrow too. Great attention to detail. Our guests will appreciate the thoughtfulness of our evening turn down service. Hey, I can't believe it's finally time for our trip. Did you do the online check-in for our flight? Yes, I took care of it yesterday. I have our boarding passes ready on my phone. Awesome, thanks for doing that. What's the process like at the airport then? We just need to head to the check-in counter to drop off any checked baggage and show our it's along with the boarding passes. They'll give us any necessary info about the gate and departure time. Sounds straightforward. Speaking of baggage, did you weigh our suitcases? I hope we're not over the limit. I did. Both suitcases are within the weight limit. No extra charges there. Great job. And did you print out our travel itinerary and hotel bookings? Yep, they're in a folder in my bag along with all the necessary document. You're on top of things. Just a heads up. I heard some airports can be pretty busy, so we should get there with some extra time. Agreed. I was thinking we should aim to arrive around two hours before our flight. Better safe than stressed. Absolutely. I'm getting a bit nervous, but also excited. It's been a while since we traveled. I feel the same way. It's going to be a great adventure. Let's make sure everything goes smoothly from check-in to takeoff. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for handling the check-in and all the details. No problem. We're in this together. Ready to make some amazing memories. Definitely. Let's do this. Leaving and returning. Hey, I'm going to run to the store really quick. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. Thanks for asking, though. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. 20 minutes later. Hey, I'm back. Did you need me to pick up anything while I was out? No, I'm still good. Thanks for asking, though. Did you find everything you needed at the store? Yeah, I was able to get everything on my list pretty quickly. It wasn't too busy, which was nice. That's good. 
Did you have any trouble finding what you needed? Not really. Everything was pretty easy to find. Although, I did see some things that weren't on my list and ended up buying a few extra items. Ha! Huh, I know how that goes. What did you end up getting? Just some snacks and drinks for later. Nothing too exciting. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad you made it back safely. Thanks, me too. Delivering food service. Hey, have you tried the new delivering food service in our area? No, I haven't heard about it. What's special about this one? Well, it's different from the usual food delivery apps. This service partners directly with local restaurants that don't typically offer delivery. That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to try some of those restaurants, but they were too far for me to pick up the food myself. Exactly. Now you can enjoy their delicious food in the comfort of your home. The service also ensures that the food stays fresh and arrives quickly. I love supporting local businesses, and this is a great way to do it. How do I place an order? It's simple. You just need to download their app, browse the menus of the participating restaurants, place your order, and they'll take care of the rest. I'm downloading the app right away. Thanks for letting me know about this fantastic delivering food service. You're welcome. Enjoy the culinary delights from our neighborhood's best kept secrets. Bedroom amenities. Hey, I wanted to discuss the bedroom amenities for our new vacation rental. What should we include to make it stand out? Good question. Let's start with the basics. A comfortable bed with fresh linens and extra pillows for added comfort. Agreed. How about adding some high-quality toiletries in the bathroom? It's always a nice touch. Definitely. We can go for organic and eco-friendly options to appeal to conscious travelers. I was also thinking of providing a coffee maker and a selection of gourmet teas for that cozy morning vibe. Great idea. We could even leave a small welcome basket with local snacks for a taste of the area. Perfect. Oh, and what about entertainment? Should we offer a smart TV or some books and board games? Let's do both. A smart TV for streaming and some books and games for a relaxing time indoors. Our guests will love it. These thoughtful bedroom amenities will make their stay truly enjoyable. To the reception desk. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me. Hello. Did you find everything you needed today? Yes, thank you. All set. Fantastic. Your total comes to $45.62. Here's my coupon too. Hope it applies to some of the items. Let's see. Great. You saved $7.50 with the coupon. Your total is now $38.12. Nice one. Here's my payment. And here's mine. Thanks for reminding me about the coupon. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Job hopping.
Hey, I heard you're switching jobs again. What's the deal this time? Yeah, I know it's becoming a trend for me, right? Well, the thing is, I've been thinking a lot about my career path and growth. Makes sense, but you've only been at your current job for like a year. What's not working? True, it's not that the job's bad, but I feel like I've learned all I can there. I'm craving new challenges and a chance to diversify my skills. But doesn't frequent job hopping look bad on your resume? Employers might think you're not committed. I considered that, but I make sure each move aligns with my long-term goals. I'm not just jumping for the sake of it. Plus, it's given me exposure to different industries and work. Car Beauty Shop Hi there, I'm interested in getting my car detailed. Can you give me some information about your services? Absolutely. We offer a range of detailing packages to fit your needs and budget. Our basic package includes an exterior wash, interior vacuum, and window cleaning. Our more advanced packages include services like waxing, shampooing, and engine cleaning. Okay, that sounds good. How much does the basic package cost? Our basic package starts at $50, but the final price can vary depending on the size of your car and the level of dirt and grime on it. All right, that's within my budget. How long will it take to complete the detailing? The time it takes depends on the package you choose, but most basic packages take around two to three hours. We'll give you an estimated time frame when you drop off your car. Sounds good. Do I need to make an appointment? It's recommended, but not required. We can usually accommodate walk-ins, but making an appointment ensures that we can reserve a time slot for you. Okay, I'll go ahead and make an appointment for next week. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. We look forward to servicing your vehicle. Family Pet been thinking about getting a family pet. What do you think? I think it could be a great idea. What kind of pet were you thinking? I was thinking about getting a dog. They're great companions and good with kids. I see. Do you have a particular breed in mind? Yes, I've been researching different breeds and I think a golden retriever would be a good fit for our family. Golden retrievers are great dogs. They're friendly, loyal, and easy to train. That's what I've heard. But we should also consider the responsibilities that come with owning a pet. It's a big commitment. I agree. We need to make sure we have the time and resources to properly care for a pet. We'll need to buy food, toys, and supplies, and make sure the dog gets enough exercise and attention. Right? We'll also need to train the dog and take it to the vet regularly for checkups and vaccinations. Definitely. But if we're ready to take on those responsibilities, I think a golden retriever would make a great addition to our family. I'm glad you think so too. Let's start looking for a reputable breeder or rescue organization and start preparing for our new family member. Making beds for guests. Hey, we've got a lot of check-ins today. Let's get started on making the beds for the new guests. Sure thing. I'll start with the first room. What's our standard bed setup? We use two fresh sheets, a cozy duvet, and four fluffy pillows on each bed. Make sure the sheets are tucked in neatly. Got it. And do we add any extra amenities, like chocolates or water bottles? Yes, 
We provide two complimentary water bottles on the nightstand and a small box of chocolates as a sweet welcome gesture. Great. Attention to detail is essential. What about the decorative pillows? We place two decorative pillows in front, adding a touch of elegance. Just make sure they're arranged neatly. Perfect. With our teamwork, all the guests will have a wonderful and comfortable stay. Absolutely. Let's get started and ensure their first impression is a positive one. Collecting items. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give. Hey, could you give me a hand with collecting these items? Of course. I'm happy to help. What are we collecting? We're gathering supplies for the charity drive. Can goods, clothes, and blankets. That's wonderful. Count me in to assist with the cause. Thanks. It's heartwarming to see the community come together like this. Absolutely. Giving back is so important. Where should we start? Let's begin with the canned goods section. We need to make sure they're not expired. Got it. I'll double check the dates. Meanwhile, I'll start sorting the clothes and blankets. We'll make a great team. Definitely. It feels great to be part of something meaningful. Your support means a lot. Together, we'll make a difference in many lives. I couldn't agree more. Let's make this collection a huge success. Hey, I just wanted to double check our flight details for the trip next week. Sure thing. What do you need to confirm? I want to make sure we have the right airline, flight number, and departure time. Got it. We're flying with Skywings Airlines, and the flight number is 123. The departure time is 9.30 a.m. Perfect. Thanks for confirming. And do you remember which terminal we need to go to? Yes, we'll be departing from Terminal 2. I looked it up last week. Great, that's noted. Just making sure we don't end up at the wrong terminal like last time. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a hassle. But we're all set this time. Also, have you checked if we need to do any online check-in or if we can do it at the airport? I've already done our online check-in. I have our boarding passes saved on my phone. Awesome, you're way ahead of me. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem at all. Traveling is smoother when we're prepared. Agreed. With all this confirmed, I'm actually getting excited for the trip now. Me too. It's going to be a great getaway. Let's make sure we get to the airport in good time on the day. Definitely. Looking forward to it. Repairing cars. Hey, have you ever had your car repaired at this shop before? Yeah, a few times actually. They always do a good job. That's good to hear. I need to get my brakes fixed and I was looking for a reliable place. Oh, they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to brakes. I had mine fixed here a while back and they haven't given me any trouble since. That's reassuring. How much did it cost you? It wasn't too bad. Actually, I think it was around $500 for parts and labor. All right, that's not too bad. Do you think I should ask for an estimate before they start the repairs? Yeah, definitely. Eh? That way you know what you're getting into, and you can compare it to other shops if you need to. Good idea. I'll make sure to ask for an estimate before they start working on my car. 
later after the repairs have been made. Thanks for the recommendation. My brakes feel so much better now. No problem. Glad I could help. Did they give you a warranty on the work they did? Yeah, they gave me a six-month warranty on the parts and labor. That's great. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's good to have just in case. Definitely. Thanks again for your help. Miss Delivery Hey, did you receive a package today? I think there might have been a misdelivery. No, I didn't receive any package. What's going on? Well, I was expecting a delivery, but when I checked the tracking, it shows that it was delivered to my address, but I haven't received anything. That's strange. Maybe there was a mix-up. Have you tried contacting the delivery company? Yes, I called them and they said they would look into it. They're going to check with the driver and see what happened. Hopefully, they can figure it out and locate your package. It's frustrating when something like this happens. I agree. I was really looking forward to receiving that package. I hope they can resolve it quickly. I'm sure they'll do their best to track it down and make things right. Just keep in touch with them and let them know if there are any updates or changes. Definitely, I'll stay on top of it. Thanks for your support. I hope this missed delivery gets resolved soon. You're welcome. I hope so too. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help. Guest Amenities Good morning. I heard we have some new guests arriving today. Have we prepared all the guest amenities? Yes, everything is set. Each room is stocked with fresh towels, toiletries, and a hairdryer. Excellent. Did we remember to include the complimentary tea and coffee? Of course. We've placed a selection of teas and coffees, along with a kettle, in each room. What about the minibar? Did we restock it with snacks and beverages? Yes, the minibars are fully stocked, with a variety of snacks, soft drinks, and some local treats for a personalized touch. Perfect! Our guests will surely appreciate the attention to detail. Oh, and did we arrange for any additional services, like spa reservations or tour bookings? Absolutely. We've made spa reservations for some guests, and we have local tour options available for those interested. Great job! Providing these thoughtful guest amenities will make their stay memorable. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. A first time, a first day. You're so fine, I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight. Don't waste time to my place. I feel my Same tracks, listen all night in the sheets of black. Said I'm falling fast, don't remember life before you, that's fast. I feel good, you look great, I like you. Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below.
And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comment section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.